Hey, this is Pastor John here with Corndale Church. Just want to take a moment to talk with you and give you some uh, updates and feedback regarding the survey we sent out last week, uh, asking you for input and in how our three uh, Sunday morning service schedule has affected you. Um, we spent a lot of time prepping for this, planning, asking you questions, listening to what you said, and as we've implemented that uh, decision and gone to three services, we wanted to ask you how how the uh, decision and experience has uh, affected you. And so I thank you for those of you who took time to respond. If you've not yet had time to respond, I'll try and put a link at the bottom of this video and you can do so. It only takes a couple of moments. Um, but I want to talk about three services and, and why three services. Um, there was a time where Cor Corndale Church was one service, a small group of people getting together, got the word, we're trying to preach the word, we're trying to stay true to the gospel, and God was really, really faithful, and, and God blessed us, and he grew us, and then we didn't have enough space. Uh, we, we couldn't accommodate everybody with a single service, and so we went to two services, and we did the same thing. We're preaching, we're teaching, we're seeking to be faithful to the gospel, and God has been very generous and good to us, and he's grown us, and, and we're at the point where we don't have enough room uh, for everybody with two services. And this is, uh, this is an interesting moment. Usually churches at this point uh, will typically look to a facility solution. By What I mean by that is um, acquiring a new building or a massive uh, remodel project. And, and typically these are projects that are, are significantly expensive and can tend to burden the church with incredible uh, mortgages. And sometimes that's the best thing you can do to care for your people. Um, but it's not always the best answer, and, and, and often, perhaps, it's not the right answer uh, for a church. And as we considered where we were at, uh, our vision as a church is gospel saturation in Kitap County. That means it's not our goal just to continue to grow in East Bremerton. Uh, our goal is to see all of Kitap, north and south and east and west. We want to see uh, the gospel saturated in, in those areas. And so we believe the best way to do that is not just by continuing to grow at our current location, but by planting uh, other churches. The best way to reach people in Paulsville and Kingston is probably not a new building in East Bremerton. It's probably a church plant in that area. The best way to reach people in, in, uh, in Port Orchard and out that direction is probably not a remodel in East Bremerton. It's probably a church plant in the Port Orchard area. And so we wanted to make decisions that are going to help us move towards planting uh, in these uh, different areas. And we're in a situation where if we can be creative with where we're at in East Bremerton, and if there's a way to provide more space without taking on uh, uh, significant amounts of debt, that will free us up to actually be about the work of church planting in our community, which we are convinced is a better way uh, to reach the entire community. And so what we've tried to do is say, hey, can, can we do three services on a Sunday morning instead of going down the facility solution at this point? Can we make this happen? Can we get people on board to say, you know, um, the best time for me to go to church may be 8.30 or maybe it's 10 o'clock, but I believe in church planting and I believe in seeing churches planted in Paulsville and I would love to see a church in Port Orchard. And so because that's my passion, because that's what I dream about, I'm going to go to a church service that maybe is not at my favorite time of the day. We, we totally understand 11.30 is not the best time uh, for a church service. We totally get that. And especially for those of you who have little kids, your kids are ready for naps, they're ready for snacks, and and, uh, and so we've tried to be very, very sensitive to that, but also want to be sensitive to the fact that, yeah, some people do want this. Some people um, are, are going to see the value of doing three services on a Sunday morning and are in a position to get behind that and to support that, especially by going to a, uh, one of the later services that allow us as a church the opportunity to continue to grow, to continue to, to do ministry where we're at and, and, and allow us to pursue this vision of planting churches in our community without having to take on um, significant amounts of, of debt for our uh, our current building, for our current space. And so 
Um, so that's why we've gone to three services. And we know that there's some things that you lose in that. And uh, we're very aware of that. Um, but we're also very committed to this vision of church planting in Kitsap. And we believe this is the step that we can take to help us get there. And so for those of you who've been supportive and committed to the 1130, man, we love it. And it is so encouraging uh, to us. For those of you that the 1130 absolutely does not work and we understand it, we're cool with that. We, we, we understand. We get it. Uh, but this is a step that we're taking because we believe this could uh, potentially really help us as we try to allow room and space for continued growth as we try to be financially and fiscally conservative and responsible we believe in the next three to five years we could be in an incredible position to to make some significant investments uh, in church planting in our community and so that's why we're doing this and the truth is we we don't know what the end game for this is we don't know how it's going to work but we do know why we're doing it and so we're uh, thankful for what God has done we're thankful for those of you who have who've helped to make this a reality those of you who have stepped up to serve and have taken on significant responsibilities we love it we're encouraged by that and we're going to continue to go forward and uh, and pray that God continues to work and that God continues to move and provide in the way that he has done from day one for our our church and and we're just we're really excited about the future and so that that's why we're doing this and uh, maybe that influences how you think about it uh, but that's why we're doing it and so uh, we're excited about it and again just grateful for the support the encouragement that uh, many of you have uh, communicated to us you've shared with us through the survey it really does mean a lot and we're really excited to see what's next at Coram Dale Church so if there's anything that we can do that I can do that you've got questions for the elders things that need to be clarified as always please let us know. You can personally email me at john, J-O-N, at quorumdalechurch.org, and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. All right, take care, and we'll see you Sunday.